Hello everyone and welcome back to Pi Alien Life. This is Otaku Showboat and today we will be discussing the Majestic Corlex. If you've been watching and enjoying the series thus far, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help make this series appear higher up in YouTube search results. You can do all of the social stuff through the links in the description below the video, including supporting Pyandon's mods development at patreon.com slash Pyandon and myself at patreon.com slash otaku shoutout. So, the Majestic Corlex. Corlex was added later on in the Pi Alien Life development cycle, and I haven't really had as much of a chance to really look at the thing in action. Uh, this was not one of the animals included in my overview, for example, of, uh, of the animals and other life added in Pi Alien Life, uh, because it was added later. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's as simple as that. So let's, let's have a look at these particular animals. You can sort of see it running around here. Uh, so these are basically like glacial cows that you milk. You're, you're, it's, it's rather interesting. These, these things with no visible fur whatsoever are, they, they, they exist in this, uh, in this snowy, icy, uh, environment. And, uh, yeah, they, they have little, little spots where they, they get milked, where they, where they get milked. This is the, uh, this is the Easy Squeeze Ranch where you will milk your Corlex. To get your first Corlex, you are going to need Alien Sepple Ones, the Codex, which will be very easy and simple to make, uh, a cow DNA sample, which will use logistic science packs as well as Muckmo codices. At the moment, this may at some point change. Uh, bio samples, cDNA, fish, fetal serum, and artificial blood. So if you have all of these things, A, congratulations on getting all the way through artificial blood, uh, you are at a point in the game where you are pretty deep now into the green science phase. You are likely also getting a trickle of blue science through vat brain computing. Uh, so you probably also already are getting a few of the blue science techs, if not all of them, that are just straight up blue science techs and not the pie science techs. You have gotten artificial blood primarily to get Muckmo as well as these Corlex at this phase of the game. You've had the ability to do the vat brain stuff since making the fetal serum. Uh, you may or may not at this point actually be growing fish. I would actually highly suggest, I would suggest having a setup for fish before really getting into Corlex because we're going to see that they'll be appearing a few more times outside of just making your first Corlex here or your first few Corlex here. So once you have your Corlex, in order to actually process them, well, A, I will note that uh, the caged recipes are very similar to the milking recipes as one would expect. And later on down the line, you can get stuff and things out of them you can get you can render them into various stuff guts bones brains meat blood skin lard all all all, all the all the things <laughs> all all of the things but the primary thing that you need them for is for their milk in general i would say uh you are not really going to need to render any uh, Corlex. There are better options through other creatures. Uh, unless you have made an excess amount of cage Corlex, which if you haven't uh, realized by now, uh, a lot of the recipes in the entirety of the Pyandons Mods suite are recipes to clear excess stuff. And they only exist as a means of clearing excess stuff. If you are designing in such a way where you have a lot of excess stuff that you feel like doing something with, go ahead and use some of those recipes to 
as intended get rid of some of the excess. If you are like me, and everything that you produce is earmarked for something very specific, and you basically don't have any excess of anything, and any backups and buffers that you have are merely backups and buffers, and they're not excess, we don't consider, I don't consider it excess of anything, uh, then all of those other recipes are completely out of the question, just not going to bother doing them, because I would rather use my stuff to make more of the primary things that I'm intending to use them for. But anyway, that is, that is just a slight side tangent. We are going to be using Corlex here and talking about the milk the milk because yes corlex corlex are our dairy cows we have we have muckmo which are basically cows they're 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 sort of like a mix of cow and pig but yeah they're they're cows essentially it's it's official they are they are cows they they are a, an alien cow like creature these are our dairy cows and on the most basic of recipes to get milk, we are going to need the usual water barrel. We will need empty milk barrels, which are just steel, just like empty barrels are steel. The empty milk barrels are steel as well. Uh, we will always get an output, so this is a closed system on the milk barrels. Just keep that in mind, just like it is a closed system on the water barrels. It is also a closed system on the milk barrels. We do not have to worry, like with cages, uh, having some of it being either destroyed or, in some cases, created uh, magically. Uh, so our basic recipe here is going to require Bodos and Tufra. We'll talk a little bit about that going forward. They'll, I'll show you a little bit of Helmod on one of the particular things that we can end up using our milk for in the end uh, but and that will show us what the basic going going down the basic recipes it'll show us what the basic bodos and tufra ish recipes are so just keeping in mind bodos and tufra on the basic recipe for this there are other recipes as you can probably tell and there are also you know versions of there are texts that will there there are texts that will upgrade the output for the basic recipes so we have the one that's just the one and i think that's the recipe i've chosen here this is the first recipe that you will have access to when you first are making your corlex most likely before you've picked up any additional technologies uh, but this will upgrade to a version that instead of one milk gives you two milk doubles your efficiency, shall we say, doubles your efficiency. Hey, yay, it's good, it's awesome uh, and magnificent uh, that we have these uh, as upgrade options. Uh, and it applies to all of the recipes across the board. You can see on the recipe names, there'll be the, uh, the standard 2 and then 2B, uh, for example. And under normal circumstances, the way that this is done is through scripts, and we normally won't see... All of these are pitted recipes unless you run a tech reset and then it actually gives you everything that exists. The King Arthur's still, I think, trying to figure out a way to make it so that you only see the uh, upgraded recipe rather than the one below it once you do get the upgrade. And then also moving all of the existing buildings from the old recipe to the new recipe automatically. That would be fantastic if it worked as actually intended <laughs> you know i haven't tested that recently it probably is working as intended right now but just again side notes uh the rest of the recipes are going to uh require food of some description we have the basic food uh we have ash plus the basic food uh, and then we have ash and fish plus the basic food and then we go into the quality food ash with the quality food and ash and fish with the quality food now this will of course unlock over time 
uh, if I go to the Corlex, Corlex stage one is going to not give us access to the food itself, because food is, of course, going to be uh, through the specific food technology. But it, at stage two, stage two is when we actually get access to the recipes that use the food. So the basic food with ash, basic food with ash, and basic food with ash and fish will unlock at stage two. So at stage one, you do technically get access to basic food. However, basic food uh, will not unlock uh, until you have pie science. So again, my point. Basic basic food will not unlock until Pi Science, so you cannot even do those recipes until Pi Science anyway. So, and with Corlex, with Corlex two also being Pi Science, once you get access to Pi Science, you'll have access to all of the food recipes. So, there's no real point in the Corlex food only recipe existing at Corlex one. You know, there's, 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 there's no reason for, for this recipe right here with Corlex food to even exist because you can't unlock Corlex food until Pi Science. Just saying, things might get changed. Things might get changed. So yeah. Anyway, uh, you get the exact same type of recipes just instead of regular food, it's quality food as you go along. Now. It would behoove us to at least mention the things that the food requires. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's food. It's simp. This is the basic food. This is the basic food. Yes, that is totally a uh, a Campbell's can. That is that is totally a Campbell's can. But it it says. Uh, it's it's a it says Corlex 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 food soup Corlex food soup it's 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 Corlex it's Corlex with the with the different font for the top word yeah it's Cor it's Corlex food it's t totally totally a soup made out of made out of meat made out of seaweed made out of kickalk seeds fish. Balagi tin, of course, because it's in a it's in a tin can, right? Salt, as well as steam, uh, and that's 0.45 on the output on an automated factory. For that, if we look at the, uh, well, sure, we're 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 totally requiring fish for the Corlex food. Let's add more fish as well as ash, and then see what type of output uh, we end up with. I do have some of these uh, to have a look and then oh we go from 0.02 to 0.05 isn't that isn't that glorious we go to uh, 4 on the output or did I even pick the correct recipe I probably didn't uh, because it should be subject to yeah the upgraded version as well so we go we go from 1 to 4 if we don't have the upgrade, or 2 to 5 if we do have the upgrade. So, you know, efficiency. And of course, you're probably going to have several of these. You can get a whole bunch of uh, milk. Milk, filled milk barrels. Lots lots and lots of filled milk barrels uh, for that. And, I mean, as long as you have the fish and the meat... From whatever you want to make the meat out of, as as well as the the mushrooms and the and the kick elk and the and the seaweed, sure, go ahead, sure. As long if you if you feel like doing that, and then of course you get to the uh, the quality food and uh, biomass casein, which is made from Corlex milk. Just just okay. We're going to we're going to feed our Corlex its own milk protein. We're going we're going to feed our Corle our, our Corlex, our milk producers, its own milk protein. 
to improve its milk output. Yeah, like that that makes total sense, right? Uh, meat, bio samples. Uh, it, actually, it does make sense. Uh, fish, Renea. Okay, sea sponge. If you have sea sponges, Tufra, Yadles. If you have Yadles. If you have Yadles. Uh, fiber board. Okay, let's let's give them. Let's let's feed them fiber. Yeah, wood wood shavings. We've we've put wood. We've added we've added wood to our food. Yeah, and more salt and the uh, steam and the fish oil. Uh, of course, because instead of now all instead of now just eating fish, we now need to add the uh, fish oil. I have a feeling that some of these uh, upgraded recipes are auto generated and include specific ingredients just across the board, and we will see that as we go forward, but just bear that in mind. Just just bear that in mind. Some of this is probably automa automated, and some of this is probably manual added. Things like the, uh, the fish oil. Most all upgraded food has fish oil. Most all upgraded uh, just food in ge most upgraded food in general has casein and fish oil. Just as, as an example, those two things in particular all of them pretty much have it. Speaking of which, how do we get to casein? Uh, as I've mentioned, we've got this protein stuff. Well, our milk first needs to be unbarreled. Why? Because. Uh, so it needs to be unbarreled, and then the empty barrels will go back to the dudes, and we will have a closed loop system here where we will produce our glorious, beautiful milk. Glorious and beautiful milk. The milk will get processed. There are three different recipes for processing into casein mixture. We have our choice of hydrogen chloride, acetic acid, and sulfuric acid, although this one will not unlock until Pi Science and uh, Corlex 2, I believe. You have to pick up the Corlex 2 tech to get the sulfuric acid recipe, which has the highest output for your Corlex milk. The acetic acid is the lowest one-to-one -one, uh, milk into casein mixture uh, with 50 acetic, and then the hydrogen chloride gives you an extra 10 units of casein mixture, which is why I've done it here. We're sort of showing off what you can basically, as you're building out and assuming you haven't done any upgrades from when you first set the thing up at uh, Green Science. That's pretty much how I've been building this out. The uh, casein mixture, add water, becomes casein pulp, stage one. And then you just add even more water to make stage two and evaporate it into the casein itself, uh, the item the, uh, the pie protein, pie protein casein, pie protein casein, casein, however the heck you pronounce that. Now, this stuff, as I mentioned before, gets used in a lot of upgraded foods, in a, in a lot of upgraded foods. So, we've got og foods, again, pay attention, steam, fish oil, casein, st steam, fish oil, casein, tin. Steam, tin, casein. No fish oil here. On the on the augs. We've got we've got steam, casein, steam, fish, casein on uh, on the uh, fat eye. Quality fat eye and regular fat eye. Just note this is regular fat eye. Uh dingrets also need casein and fish oil and steam. Fish oil and steam and casein. You'll you'll notice even like fish is going to show up a lot in here as well. The uh, va various different types of seeds, plants, all all the all the wonderful things. There's a fair amount of overlap when making when making these foods, when making the foods. So food is one of the big ones. Quality food for the most part, except for fat eye. The basic fat eye will use casein uh, on its food. Uh, including Rania 
seeds, interestingly enough, rather than the actual Renea itself that other foods uh, will tend to use. It can also be used for plastic. Uh, not a great recipe for plastic, but available to you. Similarly, it can also be used for melamine, but again, maybe not the best use to make plastic, honestly. Maybe not the best, or it, it's used to make melamine, not the best way to make melamine. Uh, compare it to the normal, normal quote-unquote recipe where you have two cyanic, two ammonia, to two melamine per second. This is half a casein and five cyanic for one melamine. This will come at a time in the game where you can get your cyanic for free, basically, from Tholans, so just we can ignore the actual cost of the cyanic. But if we ignore the cost of the cyanic, well, you can see just power efficiency. We'll have access to Tholans for both of these, at the, at the point in the game we can do this, we'll have access to ammonia out of hydrogen and nitrogen instead as well, uh, so we don't have to spend urea to get either of these anymore, uh, especially since we can do cyanic from ammonia as another recipe that exists. Uh, I don't... I personally do not see the point outside of hey, I have excess casein, let's just spend it on making a small amount of melamine instead. That That's that's the only way I can think of actually justifying the use of the casein uh, for melamine. Otherwise, just, I ignore it. Actual plastic itself, uh, same thing? It's roughly the same thing? I mean... Even on the most basic of recipes, right? Even on the most basic of recipes, you can end up with a fair amount, a pretty fair amount of casein. Uh, enough, by the way, to feed this. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty reasonable on the space, even on the most basic recipe and the number of buildings required to feed this. But again, that's one and a half plastic. There are other non-bio ways of infinitely making plastic that don't rely on biotic sources but are still infinite sources so just one of those interesting things to note yeah we can do the corlex plastic this was very much i very much was looking forward to doing corlex plastic but after looking at this, and looking at the output, looking at the actual casein requirement, like, this would require, to even get 0.5, to even get, like, to 0.4, like, okay, 8, uh, you need more than two of these, okay, that's, and that's, okay, 4, a little under 4, 3 something, on the on the milk three something on the milk well that's per second three something on the milk that's like okay what's the what's the ratio here one to fifty one to one to fifty okay so divide but divide like three by fifty <laughs> divide like three by fifty point oh six okay well that's that's three easy squeeze ranches ish ish three ish let's say for all intents and purposes four easy squeeze ranches on the most basic of basic recipes is able to feed one and a half plastic in the end after processing it okay i mean one and a half with all this stuff we'd need like three centrifugal pans and uh, a couple of agitators for that uh, and could get away with one mixer for it. If I only needed one and a half, that's a fairly compact build. Maybe 
we could do this at scale. Maybe at scale we could do this, but then again, maybe we could also wait and if we ever do food, we could do that. Maybe we can have upgraded Mark II, three, four buildings with upgraded Mark II, three, four Corlax to help improve the efficiency even further. If I was, do I have the B recipe right now? I do have the B recipe right now. So if I'm already running the B recipe, that's when it's very useful very useful so maybe or maybe not this i think i think my my opinion on the plastic here is optional that that i think is what my official opinion will be on the on the plastic optional do it or don't you'll you'll either go through the effort of doing this or you won't and either way you'll be okay uh, I personally will avoid this melamine one like the plague. Uh, and I guess either way, if I plan on ever doing any of these uh, quality food recipes slash basic food recipe at Fat Eye, uh, I'm going to have to do this anyway. And again, note the way that I build is such that I build to what I need without any... to what I need without any excess, so... And I can't really, I can't justify excess going into plastic. But anyway, there's still one more thing to talk about. Uh, and that is that you can convert your casein into casein solution by adding sodium hydroxide to it. You can convert your solid casein into a solution by adding sodium hydroxide and water. And this stuff is exclusively used to make raw fiber in this one particular recipe that converts sugar, kickalk, sulfuric acid, formaldehyde, and casein solution into raw fiber. And this is why I have Helmod up. This is why I have Helmod up, and we're going to talk a little bit about this. Uh, so in my humble opinion, this is a really, 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 really good fiber recipe. This is a really, really, really good fiber recipe overall, over time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this clear. This is a good raw fiber recipe overall, over time. It is a lot of steps. Yes, this is a, what I would call a good example of complexity and not much tedium. So I would classify this as a very good recipe because it is, because it is a high output recipe with a lot of complexity and not a lot of tedium. Because the way that I have the displayed this here is using basic of basic recipes that you get access to, like, really, really early in the game. And not even the recipes that will improve the output of these relevant uh, animal products as we go forward. The only thing I haven't broken out here is bones, for point one bones particularly because there are a ton of things that give you bones. You can get bones however you want to get bones, uh, but point one is still going to be really, really low uh, on or really compact on the total size. Note that this is scaled to just to raw fiber per second, but it's scaled to one biofactory. It's that's what we've we've scaled this to is to feed this one biofactory doing this two per second of raw fiber we can see all of this the way that this is set up and like the these numbers it gets me thinking about hey i can make a blueprint with all of this stuff that's relatively compact squared off even potentially and 
copy and paste it over and over and over again, and there's, like, all of the raw fiber I would ever need. Just as one example of how I would go about this. I have not broken down a lot of the outside inputs here. Just keeping this in mind. I have not broken down, like, the, the clay, the biomass, the coarse sand, uh, the, of course, fraction, excuse me, the uh, soil, the sand, the hydrogen chloride, and all the stuff for the lamps uh, required for both the hydrogen chloride and the actual kick elk recipe itself to do the lamps. Uh, and like the formaldehyde, the sulfuric acid, we could do sulfuric acid out of orum and add orum into this big mix of stuff, and the uh, sodium hydroxide. So this this is a lot bigger than what I'm displaying here right now but but even with that all taken into consideration I still think that it is small enough small enough to be worth doing in my opinion it is going to require sugar the sugar is one of the biggest parts of this uh, because it's going to bring up the amount of two for a plantations to the one thing that requires the most buildings in this at the one of the more basic of basic recipes that does not involve manure this is the best recipe that you can do that does not involve manure uh in the early game uh so yeah it's like 17 two for us 13 bodos uh noting that bodos only has the one module slot as well uh it's three kick -alk plantations like three kick -alk plantations into two per second of raw fiber is just amazing that's really good that is really good uh and i can totally see myself building something for this out that includes a uh a a five on this is this even the uh is this the a recipe no this is just the basic recipe this isn't the uh the upgraded milk recipe that has two out for the uh bodos and two for us so we could actually once we get the two out here we could almost we could uh cut in half the bodos completely we could go 13 to like seven uh here and we cut down considerably on the two for as well although note that most of this is the 0.5 here uh for the uh type the A type molasses to go into the uh, sweet syrup for the beautiful and wonderful sugar. So, yeah, that that is why I would say this is where I think the Corlex really shine is helping to make raw fiber through this particular recipe, through this particular recipe for making raw fiber. Now, note that raw fiber recipe. I don't think it unlocks very early. I, 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 it does not unlock until pie science, uh, when you can actually make the sugar for it. So, realistically speaking, at pie science, you get access to even better recipes than the ones that I have presented here, which means that the build will be more complex, but require fewer of the animals so again keeping all of that in mind and also pie science if you have pie science you have blue science if you have blue science and pie science you have circuit twos so you have mark two buildings at that point you have neuro processors to make mark two uh, of the bio buildings at that point which also means that you have access to more module slots at that point uh so let's have a look the easy squeeze ranch at mark two uh requires circuit twos advanced small parts all all stuff that you you have this uh one and of course if you're at pie science let's say we've got corlex food and we've gotten our upgrade version uh and we're willing to spend the ash and fish and we can do this recipe we now have eight module slots versus just five so instead of five we now have uh eight here and we can stick in 
a whole bunch more Coralax so we can see, oh, hey, this now has a 0.09 per second on just this one building with this uh, upgraded recipe here that we, I think, get access to at Pi Science. So, yeah, it's, it's, it, it is going to be fewer of these particular buildings that we need. And then we could also consider uh, that uh, we could potentially do upgrading uh, of modules. Note that uh, the upgrading of modules is slowly being changed by uh, by King Arthur. King Arthur is going through s very slowly, uh, cr creature by creature, and plant by plant, fungus by fungus, and is overhauling the actual progression of upgrading the mark levels of modules. Uh, and like... a at the same time adjusting module slots and all that good stuff. So note that this will change eventually for doing the actual physical upgrading of the Mark 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, modules. So if I do Corlex Mark 2, it should be under Selective Breeding, which, uh, of course, you absolutely have access to. You absolutely have access to one... So you get access to Mark II buildings as a as a tech. So let's say let's say we have Mark II Corlex now. Uh, so I can just do Corlex. It should show me uh, the recipes to make the Mark level in or not or not or not. All right. Uh, Uh, if there are, are there? Are there? That is a good point. Are there actually currently increased mark level Corlex? It might be that they're just... Well, they, there are. There are Corlex Mark II. It, it, it's, it's there. It's just, it's not in my... I can't spawn it for free. This What is what is this shenaniganry here? I can... I can spawn as much as I want for free from one of these beautiful infinity sh chests. Uh, Corlex, yeah, somewhere in here, yeah, Mark, Mark II Corlex, come here. That's not the recipe that I want on you, I want that recipe, so we can actually compare, we gain, we go from 0.09 to 0.12 with uh, the same recipe, but it's it's not improving efficiency, it's just improving speed, so we just improve the, reduce further the potential building count here by being at a Mark II building with Mark II modules, uh, speed bonus extra 500% uh, per creature there. So, it's a pretty significant difference. It's a pretty significant difference, that. And, uh, with that, I'll note that that just gets better over time once you get access to Mark III and Mark IV stuffs, and that the ability to upgrade modules will be overhauled at some point. I highly suggest f doing raw fiber out of these guys once you get access to that recipe uh, at Pi Science. So once you get access to this recipe at Pi Science, I, su I highly suggest doing it. Just FYI, I, I, I suggest I suggest doing this recipe. It's it's a it's a pretty good recipe. Pretty good recipe. I, I like that it exists. It uh, it hits all the right buttons in my mind uh, for for output and for requirements. I mean, yeah, this 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 is this is this is good example of pretty good design by comparison to some of the other stuff uh, in Alien Life that ends up being a little bit too much tedium. Uh, Honestly, I think overall Corlex is pretty well designed uh, and pretty well balanced for what it is uh, and the uses of its products. I think overall this is fine. This whole process, going milk into casein uh, and then casein mixture and all that, or solution I should say. And then outside of this one example with melamine and potentially the actual plastic stuff, I think the usage is fine. I think, I think, yeah, uh, do you, should you do this as soon as you can in the early game? 
Uh, maybe not. Maybe not as soon as you can in the early game. Uh, if you get access to quality og food, which again, I think that's pie science, again. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is pie science I get, that you get the quality foods, just in general. So you're, you already can't do any of the foods at green. You can only really do plastic, maybe the melamine. I, I personally would say you're not going to have excess of, uh, of this. You can't do this until pie science, so all that goes away. I, uh, you're, you're only really setting this up at green science to do plastic. Like, do you, do you, do you want to go through the effort of setting this up for later and use what you have now for plastic and set up some other source of plastic later? That's up to you, but me personally, green science, probably going to skip this. And build it out when I want to build out that raw fiber, that beautiful raw fiber recipe, if I ever do get around to doing it. So that is the current, as of this recording, in March of 2020, state of the Corlex animal. We did not cover what we can slaughter it into, so I guess if we want to, like, have this as a complete video, I should at least show discuss a little bit about the uh the rendering of the corlex so we have repetitive recipes but i'll go with the uh with the basic versions so we have uh, an output of four meat by default an output of uh 20 blood by default uh that's not not much on the blood. Uh, four bones. That's that's pretty meh. I think it's just across the board going to be pretty meh. Uh, should only be one brain. It's four brains. That's extract brain two. So again, it's that would be an upgraded brain recipe. I think this is brain recipe. B, yep, B, which means that this last one here should just be the, yeah, so by default, one brain upgrades to two and then four uh, as time goes on. Uh, Arthurians give base two, and then that gets multiplied uh, by the upgrades going forward, so Arthurians are more brains. Uh, there are several upgrades to skin, which I find to be interesting that is an upgraded recipe the guts basic recipe is three again not that much the lard i'm assuming this would be decent on lard that's lard two where is lard one this is lard one it's four lard that eh okay uh, i am pretty sure that in the overall sense the of the slaughtering that the Corlex is going to get outclassed by most everything uh, else uh, because its primary its primary use is for milk. Like you don't you don't want to slaughter your dairy cows unless they're about to die and they don't die of old age. Uh, so unless and um, they yeah only slaughter your dairy cows when they can no longer produce. Well, it, unfortunately in this game we cannot we do not have that sort of a mechanic of age uh for creatures so yeah about that so about that see they'll be they'll be producing milk forever forever and ever and ever and with that with that uh i will uh, mention that that makes basically all of these like caged recipes somewhat superfluous just uh in my opinion somewhat superfluous you can do them if you want to do them get get a stockpile of caged ones to use for upgrading modules like you're going to do the cage recipes to do the upgraded modules that and to have the modules that's that's what you'll cage them for get the cage versions for are they going to be 
really you are you going to do the later phase recipes for them probably not you're going to focus on the milk recipes and you'll you may want to do the food recipes or you may not depends on how much you want to kick yourself to uh to get the food yeah it depends on how much pain you want in your complexity game uh for making the food for making the food my suggestion on the making of the food. Make a food production factory that makes all of the food and just go through all of the requirements and give all of the buildings for the food what they need. Have it, like, bot base it, basically. And just go through, make what you need to supply the production of the food. And that, and that, that's ultimately it. Get something that gives you meat. Get something that gives you bones. Uh, I, I don't know. I think something needs guts as well. Something that gives you guts, and then something, just yadels are mushrooms. Bodos are mushrooms. Uh, a lot of the other stuff is plants. Fish is self-sustaining Renea's a plant that's self-sustaining so it's like yeah you can you can do a, like a factory that just produces a whole bunch of food and that that's a suggestion there uh for all the various different types of animals just cross the board centralize it centralize a food production zone because of how much stuff is needed for them and there's a lot of overlap in the various food recipes with that folks I have exhausted everything that I can possibly say that I can think of off the top of my head on the glorious and majestic Corlax. With that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Showboat. If you have enjoyed this tutorial and the tutorial series thus far, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help make this series appear higher up in YouTube search results. You can do all of the social stuff through the links in the description below this video, including supporting Pyandon's Mons development at patreon.com slash Pyandon and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. And I, of course, hope to see you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.